Hey, what's up? It's Rashad. Antonio, the Upon Further Review. We are a podcast that talks about things. And today, again, one of the best shows this year so far in this early stages of, of 2024, that is Shogun on, on FX. All spoilers got to talk about a thing to talk about a thing. Man, and the name of this episode is A Stick of Time. This episode number seven. And man, I was very, <sighs> this episode gave us an insight on Toranaga and who he is as a man. But I just want to go over the overall theme first, because it kind of gives you an understanding of everybody's, everybody's arc. And, and the theme of this episode is, what do you want your legacy to be? Mm. That's the theme. So if you, if you look at it, in that lens, mm-hmm. that's really what this episode is. All right, let, let's start with Toranaga first. Toranaga, we see young Toranaga, the 12 year old warlord, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, actually, the story was true. Your man did, <laughs> he did what they say he did for real. You know what I'm saying? I got a question, yo. Because the first couple of scenes, you see it's a battle and everything, and then you hear, someone chanting lord we won war is over and it was just chanting lord Toranaga, one is for one is war one is war and then they pan the camera across and everything and then you just see a kid on a horse in full samurai regalia and then it, it just comes across the screen 46 years earlier Toranaga wins his first battle yeah, so we what? got to, we got Toranaga mm-hmm. and Sugiyama, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. And after that, they go to the the person who was who who was leading at the time. Uh-huh. Who they defeated, yeah. Who they mm-hmm. defeated, and they looking at him like, look, he said, Hey, let the record show that I got bested by the like 12 year old warlord. Yeah, the 12 year old warlord. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, damn. <laughs> like, like, mm-hmm. like, and then he came in a suit. Sipica, and mm-hmm. after that, he so commenced to he cut. Said, he told him, he's like, yeah, well, before I do this, I want <laughs> I want this, I want the boy, the, war, the boy warlord to be the second, because in Sipico, the person who's going to commit the suicide, originally, he takes the, 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 um, the small katana blade and sticks it himself, and he cut, he disembowels himself, and then the second person Decapitates him, you yeah. Know, to make sure that the end, the end it. And he said he wanted the twelve year old boy to be his second. I said, "Yow." Yeah. Let me cut to the um, you know, just the intro. Mm-hmm. And then I just want to talk about Toranaga for a minute. So Toranaga, if we see the entire series of him, he has been having troubles with going back to who he was. Like, he does not want to be Shogun. That's the whole point of his whole arc, of him denying, because he never wanted to be it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, even when, because, yeah, he meets, his, he meets his half-brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, his half-brother was like, yeah, man, um, I'm glad, you know, I'm surprised that you you came crawling to me for help. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and the, the best between them is, like, really funny, because it's like, the most um, stereotypical have sibling relationship. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it was like, you know, we got different moms. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? M- more than likely, they got yeah. probably got different mothers uh-huh. and they probably was reared differently. We already see how he was a shogun. The man has had a little small piece of land by, by the water somewhere. Mm-hmm. Very similar to um, Yabushige. Mm-hmm. And he seems to be way more way more ruthless mm-hmm. at, at this point in time because he's probably like let's just say he's like 30 right 35 tops mm-hmm. and then you have um Toronaga who has to be let's say let's say he's like 55 60. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so he's all so he done lived his life he's an old man he, now he's 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 killing people via strategy and just mm-hmm. being cunning all right and he wants his legacy to be he was the one that can be able to maintain the peace 
in in Japan. He doesn't want full out war because mm-hmm. even him having the whole Crimson Sky, he was like, "Look, man, like I don't really want to do this, but like you know, that's what y'all, that's what y'all really want. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it." You know what Toronaga reminded me of. And to make it into sense for real world aspect, even though these characters are based off of um real world people, Toronaga to me is at his age right now is Mike Tyson, older Mike Tyson. And there was a video that came out a few years ago where Mike Tyson being interviewed by Ray or know, somebody exactly. else. Yeah, and it's a good analogy. It was hard. It was heartbreaking, and it takes you into the mind of him. He's like talking about how he used to be and he was crying and he was like I was bred for war all I know how to do is annihilate that's all I ever all I ever known and he was like and he was like sometimes I miss the guy that I was and we and 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 me and Rashad are of age where we remember younger Mike Tyson and I'm talking younger great Mike Tyson and younger unhinged Mike Tyson where Mike Tyson basically was like a pit bull walking around without a leash (laughs) <laughs> out in the public back you know he was like a lion if you saw a lion he was like oh lord what is this lion about to do or whatever and he was like crying saying that he misses that person sometimes but he also know he doesn't want to be he hates that person that he was and he doesn't want to be that person because he knows hell is going to come with that with that person and and this is what makes me and and, and i equate that to tor naga because i think tor naga knows the type of he's seen so much stuff he's seen so much battles and everything and, and that comment had happened to even come up when his son just kept saying oh we're gonna go to war yeah war and then he was just like why is it that people that have never really been to war want to glorify war and really want to do this like he's like Tornaga's like yo man this ish is not fun nah. like, i am trying my best to avoid to avoid what's about to happen boy i'm sorry no, nah, no, nah. he hit him with the um, with the everybody want to be it, but don't nobody want to be it. <laughs> right. No, for real, right. man. No, nah, that's yeah. that's it's serious. And Sorinaga was trying to impress upon his son, like, look, yo, there's a better way to do all this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As we see in the, in the episode, he ain't listen. The second time he went rogue. So Sorinaga, this whole time, he's really trying to make sure that there is no infighting in his ranks. Mm-hmm. First, Blackthorn. He says, "Look, Blackthorn, I need you to just shut the hell up and fall in line. It's all need for you. I can't know about what you're doing, what you want to do. I know what you can do. And until I tell you to do something, shut up and fall in line." He does because if you notice, Blackthorn ain't even really doing nothing this episode. This is the first episode that Blackthorn has like maybe like two and a half minutes screen time. Mm-hmm. Um. Secondly, Toronaga also has his conversation with the um, with the head lady at the tea house. Yes. She also is wanting to secure her legacy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Again, Toronaga's legacy, her legacy. He said, look, she's like, if we get out of here, like what I want to do is when we get back to Osaka, instead of having all these basically these places of prostitution, like, I want to set up a bunch of tea houses so we can actually become a part of society. And, like, you know, basically, basically, she want to have, um, like, legitimized sex workers. You know what I'm saying? And she consolidate the consolidate. Yeah. And, like, make it. Yeah. Like, 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 I, I really want to make sure that, you know, shit, we'll pay taxes. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like, I want to be legitimate business. Like, she want to be like, like, like Nevada out here. <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. so that's really like what she wanted, which is a very noble thing because her backstory was like, look, yo, I'm just, I was I was I'm from the gutter like you. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We we already know what it means to come from nothing and to elevate to high heights. I'm the I am the best of this. You are the best of this. So we should have an understanding, which goes to the whole notion of a stick of time. So a stick of time is essentially an instant. Mm-hmm. Put that incense in a little plant, like that incense, and when that when the stick of time when the stick is done, you're out of time. That's because all the time you there, get. Yeah, because she sat there. Um, because we haven't really gone into a recap of the show yet. We just no, nah, because I don't think a recap ain't, ain't even needed. It ain't even real. needed. She she you know saying whatever ha- the thing that happened between Toronaga where his 
his brother. Why is it always the asshole brother Rashad? Every time. Every time. It's an asshole, an asshole brother, man. And he basically, he basically like you know set Toranaga up, and he the um the council got to him. And if I'm not mistaken, you can let me know if I'm wrong or not. They basically chose him to be the new regent, the new regent in place of. Of Toronago, they gonna give him land, and he gonna yeah, give no, no, they because they they had to replace the other one that um yeah, the other one that they killed that was yeah like, yeah whatever. So you know she's just like, hey, you promised my lord promised me at some point that I could have a stick of time with him, and you know they was like his Toronago son. Hey, we got other things to worry about. Where did you write? Then she was like, hey, yo, we, we, we got time. We, we, it, ain't, it, ain't like we it ain't like we could go anywhere because his brother, um, what, Psycho? Seiko was his name? Was um, his name? Yeah. His brother Seiko. Saike, uh, yeah, he, Nobatsu. Um, yeah, Nobatsu. He basically double crosses him after he tells him, like, hey, I'm part of council. He gives him the little scroll that says, yo, you need to come back to Osaka and face judgment there. Oh, also too, your little bastard son right here, the dad gonna kill the um who killed the envoy, you know, said a messenger envoy, he needs to come back to and perform super cool or this stuff. And he was about to hand it, he was about to reach for it. Tonaka said, Don't you touch that damn thing? He was like, Boy, hell is wrong with you. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, like he don't like he wants to like. His son is 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 always is always the kid who thinks that he's so hard from association, mm-hmm. and we all know that he ain't like boy. Like you had you you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth. Like you not hard, right? You know what else he is too. I've come to realize in my time in life, there's three type of young men when it comes with their father, and there's Tony. three different type of. Three different type of personalities. You got a Tonyism. Um, Go ahead, Tony. Three type of personalities. You have the one personality of the well. Let's start with the negative. The kid who like, man, I hated my my father was so hard on me. Hated my father. I don't want nothing to do. You know what I'm saying? So they they do their best to not follow in their father's footstep. You got that? You got that kid. Then you have the other end of the spectrum, which is um, Toranaga's son. He um, idolizes his father. Yes, his, father I, is, his, his father is fantastical to him. He's like, I want to be him. That's who I, I need to be him. I need to be him. That's my hero. That yeah. is what it's like to be. That's what it takes to be a man or whatever. Because even when his, when um, Tornaga's brother was there, he was like, could you tell us some great stories about my father and stuff like that? And and you were just like, what? Okay. And then there's the third. And there's the kid that's like, all right, I understand who my father is, but I still want my own path. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a problem, like, maybe reaping whatever rewards that come from this, but I also want to do better, do at least do better and have my own path from my father. So I, I believe it's those are three types of relationships that I've seen the most in my time between like, a father and a father and a son. Fairly but accurate. He, yeah, but he basically like idolizes his father. And, 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 and the guy that's the actor that's him is doing a great job acting like, because you see it in his eyes, his eyes light up like, yes, 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 father. Yeah, oh man, this and that. And when- <laughs> Falling and when over his, him. And when his, and when Tornaga's brother, yo, yo, got real disrespectful. Yo, he was like, yeah, we know the story about, you know, he won his first battle and he- Took the man's head off, you know, saying one boy, 12 year old, badass, whatever. He said, Here's another story <laughs> that a lot of people don't really know. Like, basically, like your, your father was taken away as a young boy from his mother. You know, he was a little mama's boy. And when they took him away, five minutes later, he shitted himself. I said, What? And then he said, And like, you saw everybody's face go like, Really, my guy? Like, why are you telling the story, trying to be disrespectful? And so yo? once that happened, I said, "Oh, I see where this mofo trying to go right here." And so he's just like, "Yeah, you know, I, I you know, he wants the fact that this." So I felt bad for the horse. What? And you know, that's when, I was crying. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, and then that's when he gave the thing about, "Hey, I, I'm now the head of this family. I'm just this clan, my clan, and all the stuff like that." 
but his son is in like his son is so easily manipulated when it comes to his father but it's not because of Toronaga it's from outside people so like yeah. the first time when he did it when um when Omi Mr. Simpin for for that Kiku who he is still sipping for we gonna get this, that, we gonna get that in a minute is sipping for he told him it ever hey man yo what would your daddy do you know this and that whoa, whoa, whoa. and that's when they shot the cannon and they took out um uh what's the name N- N- Nabuto was the guy yeah. the um the envoy guy earlier and stuff, and then he kind of was like doing the same thing, and and my and, and you right, Rashad. It was the episode of, yo, you ain't about that life, Jack. He was sitting there talking trash, like, yeah, I can't let these 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 spineless pigs and blah 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 talking that shit. His uncle came out that thing and said, spineless oh, pigs, pigs, spineless pigs, huh? And then he turned around and was like, oh, didn't know you was right there. And then he tried to he tried to save him, man. How could you do this to your family? This and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, he was just, someone was like, yo, man, what do you know about war? What do you know about battle? And then he goes into this dumb, it's the glory of the death, the glory of the, the kill. So, I I hear that, he's what he said, I hear that your first kill is is just as good as having having your having a woman. And he was like, yo, yeah, what she said. Depends on the woman. Depends on the woman you got to that. If you got that Kiku, I don't know if you got that. You ain't coming back. You ain't coming back from that boy. The the boy the head color sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Yo. Yeah. So, yeah, so so yeah, yeah that, that dude is just, irritating. Yeah. He, yeah he, he's he's done a great job of being the worst. Yeah. So also, so Toronaga in a conversation that he has with um with um the headmistress of the tea house and she's talking to him like yo why do you think you lost you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. he's like basically trying to tell him like look yo we can work together you know what i'm saying because we again we like yo we the same we 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 we, we a likes here you know what i'm saying is and- it me too or does she like she knows that he got something planned Yes and no. It doesn't okay. matter because mm-hmm. even if she, even if he doesn't have anything planned, mm-hmm. she still knows that he can um that that they can be in cahoots to help. Whether okay. it's information, which is the number one thing, mm-hmm. because Kiku is gonna get every bit out of that man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was probably their angle. We're gonna um we we're gonna put that thing on them. And then yeah. we going, you know, going, going to figure out what's going on. Because Toronaga gave Toronaga paid a week's worth of Kiku, the whole week, the whole week. I think it was that. I think it ended up being like twelve thousand or something. It was, like it, that. it was, it was, it, it was a lot of their currency. It was a lot of their currency for for for, tw- for Kiku for that whole week. Because that's when you saw your boy. <laughs> He wanted to get his get back. He wanted his girl back. Omi, Omi came through like, yo, um. Where where Kiku? And the headmistress is like, ah, oh, hey, um, yeah, you can't handle none of Kiku for the week, bro. And then he was like, oh, no, no, no. he's like, hey, hold on. How about we get somebody that's more suitable, suitable for, you. for you? I was like, oh, damn. He was like, remember, that's the only told, girl I want. He told, he told Kiku. Like about three episodes ago, he was in the middle of them getting it in. I love I you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, so, ah she got dude, you, big dog. She got dude. you. His feelings are hurt because because Toranaga sent Kiku to go be with um with Blackthorn, like that barbarian, and it seemed as if Kiku liked what Blackthorn was giving to him. <laughs> she said, "You can come back." Anytime. He was like, "Your place has been defiled since you had that barbarian there." Yeah. He, said, he said, "Look, yo, um, what we do here is, you know, it's our business. I ain't about to be sitting yeah. here and, uh, and and pillow talking with you." But also, his mom was on somebody else, so I wouldn't be too concerned. Yeah. And even that, still trying to say, "Look, yo, the girls still like you, man." So I act like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's really, really yeah. what that was too. This is just a profession, yo. Like, chill. chill. Yes, and on, and on on top of that, like Toronaga and 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 the headmistress, they still have this connection. 
I don't know what that is yet. Also, I don't know if that's been messed up because of your boy Nagakato and his goofy ass. All right. All right. So next next person in their legacy. And that's my boy Yabashige. <laughs> Yabashige is an idiot, man, but he's a Yabashige. lovable idiot. Man. No, but Yabashige is this. Oh, man. You know, so he so he comes up with everybody. He's at, at the thing. And they gave him a little present. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He opens it up. On raps, opens it up. So, oh, snap. It's his general yeah, with his head dude, cut off. The dude with the eye patch from early that he sent. Yeah, he to, sent um, to, to. He sent to Osaka to, like, to speak for yeah. him and stuff. Yeah, he's so, like, well. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna die with these fools too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he was just like, yeah. <laughs> so Yabashige has also accepted that he's gonna die, which leads us to back to Toronaga. Because Toronaga has also accepted his death. He even already started writing his will. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So he's like, man, everybody's preparing to die because we already know most of the forces died in, in that in that horrific earthquake. Earthquake, yeah. And then um we because you know his half brother was like, nah, I'm about to be the I'm I'm about to be a regent. And mm-hmm. essentially they need you to come. And we I knew you was gonna come to me because you hobbled and yo, he played him so well. Mm-hmm. Also love how Toronaga is always trying to buy time. Mm-hmm. He was like, Yo, man, you know what we're gonna do? Like, I'll give you my answer by the end of tomorrow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just for him to give time to think and strategize, mm-hmm. and again, um, the funny thing too, in, in all this, un, un, like one of the few scenes that has Blackthorn in it, Untaro, <laughs> Untaro's is stay trying to run that fade with with him. So before that, Mirko is talking with Toranaka about you know. Hey, what are you gonna do here? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get my brother. We are gonna do this and that, blah, 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 cool. But Tara rolls up and says, "Hey, can I have a moment with my lord?" And he's like, "Look here, dude. Before this is over with, could you give me permission to please cut this motherfucker's head? <laughs> cut this mofo's head. I'm ready to off. kill this man. I'm ready to kill this man or whatever." Hey, Tornaga's like, why? Why? What happened? He was like, I don't like how he looks at my wife. And I feel, and this Tornaga's like, so, so what you trying to say here? He was like, I don't I say, like how he looking at my wife. And he was so, like, so are you trying to say that? Trying to say he hit that? He, trying to say he hit? He making advances to your wife? And he's like, yes, he is. And then he was like, I want to take his head clean off. And then this is how smart Toronaga is. Well. So, <laughs> does that mean you're going to take her head off too? And then, uh, 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 he was like, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> he was like, hold on. Wait, wait one minute. Hold on. <laughs> and Miracle was just sitting there emotionless. Not saying, not, not, and then he's just like, and he's just like, Wait, 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 wait. I, I know I said his head. No, he says, evidently, if you think that making advances and you think that your wife is reciprocating these advances, that means she got to go too. You got to kill her too, You got to kill her too. And so he looks at Mirko. Hey, what you got to say about this? And she's just like, I am, I serve my Lord and I am, and I am my, my husband's wife. He, my husband can do with me as he please. If he desires my head off, then fine. Desire because she wants to die. Period. And that's and that's the thing too. The funny thing is, like, even though Untaro legitimately hates Blackthorn and mm-hmm. already know that Blackthorn done 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 smashed that, he mm-hmm. knows mm-hmm. the fact that his his wants to have dominance over his wife. Is just like you know higher than his hate for his hate for him mm-hmm. having some other man having sex with his wife mm-hmm. is amazingly crazy when yeah. you could have the authority just to do what you want to do and your wife does not want to be here anymore anyway mm-hmm. and you're just doing this out of a form of punishment. 
Mm-hmm. Like that's that's that's, 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 that's some wild. levels. Yeah, that's levels. wild as hell. And Tor and the Tor Dog is like, hey, no, you ain't doing it, man. Get out of here with this bull, this bull or whatever. And like he tells Miracle the same thing, like, hey, girl, get your head out your ass, yo. Let's get this because he's uh, and she's pissing me off now more too because it's like he told you last episode, yo, what your father, what you, what her father wanted for her. He wanted her does not care. And she don't does get not she, care. She's all like, oh my, my family name is messed up. Blah 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 blah. This and that. And then I think she feels bad that she. She was this lord of her husband, and she developed feelings for the Anjan, <laughs> aka the barbarian. And, and it's just like she's irritating me, starting to irritate me now, too. I'm like, girl, but that's kind of, yeah, yeah, that's kind of, that's that's, 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 that's that's kind of her art, though, because yeah. there has to be some way for her to by the next ep- by the last episode, mm-hmm. either man, yeah, so Toronaga Yabushige. Um, don't forget, you, you was about to give it talk about Buntaro when you was about to run. Thank you, thank with you, Black So, 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 Buntaro, <laughs> so, so, Yabushige so, Yabushi, is, out, is out by the dock, and Blackthorn is looking at his ship just, just longingly, just hoping yeah. for the sea. And he's like, Yabushige is looking at him, and he can't, un- of course, they don't understand a word he's saying uh-huh. because you know, translation mm-hmm. and. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was like, stupid. You got that Yabba. katana? Do you even know how to use that? Use that? Yo, yo. So he basically is trying to teach him how to spar, mm-hmm. right? And he's knocking him down. And then you know, of course, um, Blackthorn figures out. Okay, he's trying to he's trying to teach you whatever. All right, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll humor you. The one part I, I will I'll... say. Yo, go ahead. I'm sorry. Crack me up. Is when he drew the sword and was like, oh, draw your sword. The y'all can see me holding that thing right, like ready. Black throw a hold that thing like he's about the fence. <laughs> he said, You know what it reminds me of, Rashawn? Of like some hood dude that's never shot a gun before talking about some shoot. I'm gonna turn it side. Like, oh, shut it. I was like, This mofo right here. What are we? I was looking like, Don't do it. Looking like, Don't be a menace out here. Yeah, um, and young and young, young, she was like, Oh, both hands, man. Let's get this going. So he's trying to figure it out. Out of no, oh yeah, I'm sorry. So so Yabuchige um knocks his sword out, kicks him down, boom on the ground. Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere, I don't even know where this man came from. But yeah. Taro's like, and straight puts that thing to his neck. And and Black Thorn at this rate is like, man, kill me. I'm obviously <laughs> never going home. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? The girl, like, I already hit your wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I and 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 I likes it. Nothing you can do about it. You can't take that back because yeah. you weren't here for your girl, and and mm-hmm. you and you abused her. She came to me in my in, your, in her time and eat. You know what I'm saying? He's like, kill yeah. me. And then Montaro is just it's just the the the, the stupidest tortured soul in this, in, in this daggone show. Yeah. Has to again put his put, you know a sheath his sword and then and and and, and, and walk away. For like yeah. the fifth time, you know what I'm he's saying? Like he, his legs. every time, man. Like every he's time. so because he because there's this like he, he has to have a certain amount of like honor to, to what he's yeah. doing. So he know he just can't just kill the Hamamoto mm-hmm. after um Toronaga told him not to because if he yeah. did, he would be committed seppuku ASAP. He already know. Also, what was funny in that scene too when um Yabushige first gets to the um. You know what I'm saying to the docks with him, and Yabashi y- y- looks at the, the boiling pot where they killed this boy, and he was like, hey, "I bet you, you, she was the one that was, in, you was the one that was in there." <laughs> Would have been a whole lot faster, huh? Would have been a whole lot faster there, buddy. I was like, "Damn, yo, that man is, yo, yeah. he's an <laughs> idiot, man." <laughs> All right, yo, like let's let's let's. I think we covered everything. Oh yeah, so, um, Kiku. Is able to, uh, go, of course, get. Um, Yo, first Toronaga accepts the offer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So this yeah. is big, you know, communal thing. Yada yada. The shot. Oh yeah, n- nothing we don't talk about a lot, yeah, but the shot is. where you yeah. see Toronaga's little camp, and then you just see the flood of um Saiki's um um like Arm. his whole armament coming. Uh huh. Such a beautiful shot. I was like, mm-hmm. God, it's a lot of people. 
Wilkins yeah. sent him. So they had a little parlay, I guess. I guess you call it a parlay. And he's like, um, hey, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I had such terms. I will go back to. I'm going to Osaka. I'll I'll meet with um you know Ichido and everybody else. Of course, and, his son, his son. He said, "Sit the hell down. Sit your sit ass, down. ass down." Yeah. So once again, this boy tries to take matters to his own hands, and we're right, back. His, at- his Toronaga was like, "We'll leave in the morning." Yeah, we ain't gonna leave now. We'll leave again leave tomorrow. Again, again, biding time, biding time, and like he he too impatient to see that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, he, he doesn't want to. He doesn't understand the dance of it all. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> no foreplay. So he um so so what's up, boy's name? Saiki mm-hmm. is like on his um on his S and M vibes. You know what I'm He's- saying? He on, He's he, on his Fifty Shades of Black vibe. He on he, he on his BTS, and I ain't talking about a I ain't talking about the K-pop. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, and so I was like, "Dad, yo, you you, you, you like getting chugs, huh? Not He's that way around. In the process, okay. my old I, girl. I see, yeah. I see you. So, and then Kiku's like, "Oh, um, by the way, if you like this freaky stuff, I got some more freaky stuff in the back." You know what I'm saying? And he's like, Shit, bring that freaking stuff on. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> Say <I'm>, less. <laughs> like, I'm, the, I'm the freak. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So so he's it's waiting. The nasty time. It's like yeah. he's yes, yes. I am Mr. I am Mr. <laughs> nasty. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, so as he's um, I'm saying, <laughs> as he is basking in his post nut clarity, um <laughs> he hears. He hears like something in the back. So he he mm-hmm. yo this bass puts on the most flowing flowing the robe flowing, I've ever flowing, seen in my life. The flowing silks <laughs> that he put on. Yo, this robe is like it's it's like a train on his robe, you know, yeah. like so long. It is the and most. It is it's, the it's, absolute it's, most, yo, man. It, it, dare I say his robe was beautiful? Like it just yeah. is like <laughs> I think her robe was angelic, you know. So I'm like, yeah. dang. And so it was he, white, which made it even, made yes, even yes, more so. Yeah. What <laughs> he told he said. Yeah. <laughs> Who out here? <laughs> Who make all this noise out here, y'all? Uh-oh. So, and then all of a sudden we see Nagakato. stupid Nagakato, and he bum rushed and got a couple of his um his people with him, mm-hmm. and he's looking at. And um and Saiki like yeah mm-hmm. you about to die big dog, mm-hmm. and he tries to to like swipe at him and misses terribly, and then um Saiki starts running you know what I'm saying because he just butt naked with this with, with this gorgeous robe on and got no <laughs> weapon you know what I'm saying no weapon he no just he's, on no nah, nothing just yeah just just. And I think he sprains his ankle too, or something. I don't like. know, cause like when he yeah. so he dips into that little that little like pool, whatever, uh-huh. and he slips. It feels I don't know if he he sprained or he broke it because he was yeah because he couldn't put no weight on that joint. You right, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's scared. You know what I'm saying all of a sudden, um, <laughs> Nakakata rolls it that he is so, like he's like yeah, I'm got your my ass, ass now. I'm about, I'm about to get my first samurai kill, nigga. Yo. <laughs> He goes to put his blade up and Goofy <laughs> has his foot on a rock. I don't think that we understand just how many times this show has told us, look, we're going to be very true to real life things. Mm-hmm. Rocks are slippery when they're wet. You know what I'm saying? Because it was raining outside. It was, it was raining and they're in water. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. And even when um when Yabushike slipped on the rocks, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rocks is, rocks are rocks slippery is when wet. Slippery and wet. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no signs mm-hmm. up for them. Maybe they should. Mm-hmm. HR is gonna be upset. But mm-hmm. he slips on his rock, Tony. This bastard falls backwards and just his oh head. my god, he his his Slaps. head. His I ain't head. gonna say slap. His head, back of his head got caved in. On his head rock. implodes. Yeah. And he just looking up, just like gargling blood. And and looking stupid. And, and Saiki said, Is 
is this your beautiful death? Is this your beautiful death? Like, 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 like he, uh, the, the, the funny thing was like, he was, he was more upset. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 um, Nagakato died like this yeah. because he tried to sell him before. So like, it's nothing beautiful about this. Mm-mm. Even he was like, yo, I don't want to do this to, to my bro. Like, I don't like him like that, but we still blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to do this, but like, look, look, look. my legacy. Mm-hmm. I want my legacy to be this. You know what I'm they, saying? They, yo, the, the 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 regents came to him with a Godfather offer. offer yes, he could refuse. not refuse that. He said, like, "Look, yo, all, all I gotta do is, is is trick my um trick my half brother who's already gonna come crawling to me for help anyway. Mm-hmm. Say less. You know what I'm saying? And like it just in, in the episode in. The episode ends with that sad music too. I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> and you still hear the water. Yes. The yeah. So, like, so all the, the um, rain. like, 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 the sound design mm-hmm. doesn't stop into a new song. It just continues, and it was man. This show was like, this show was so good. I'm gonna say it again. If if y'all been watching these with us, man, please, please comment on YouTube yes. and talk about how good the show is, man. Yeah. This is it's so good. Not, yeah. Nagakado so goofy, yo. Like it's yeah he Ain't definitely he, i'm glad he's out of here though yeah he, i mean he because was the, he was in the way yo like yeah. he was so stupid yeah, yeah shout so, out to like, i don't know if, i don't remember who the actor is but yo he did yeah. a good job playing the asshole like, yeah, just, he just did. playing this playing somebody young and dumb he did a mm-hmm. really good job of that man you yeah. you made us hate you and that was the whole point good job <laughs> right. hey man what's your um like all right we about to be, we got one more episode right we got two more episodes. Two more? Oh no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We got the matter of fact, it's ten. Bad. We, we got, got three episodes. Got three. Me, sir. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we got three more episodes of this. I am just good TV, man. So um, these are the titles of the final three episodes. Yeah, go ahead. Episode eight, the abyss of life. That just sounds like some hardcore stuff right there. The the um penultimate episode, episode nine, Crimson, Crimson Sky. Sky. So we still gonna get it. And that yo, that yo, that 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 the last two episodes mm-hmm. are very Game of Thrones to me. Yeah. It's like if the last if that episode nine is like the all out battle episode, mm-hmm. and episode ten is like the um you know the um the finishing time putting everything together. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, the final episode is a dream of a dream so i i can't wait this 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 series is so good um i put in a few more people onto this series and they were just like yo i i said yeah why are you watching the series go check out me and my boy talking about yeah this show as well. i just told um friend of the pod um tony bob about it I was like, you watch the show now? He's like, nah. I said, nah, nah you, you should watch that. Yeah, Tony you should definitely watch. should be watching. Yeah, Tony definitely should watch, watch that. So, um, yeah, but yeah, that's all we got for this one, man. Go back to the channel. Bunch of stuff up. Um, review for the movie um, Godzilla Kong. Oh. That's up. Mm-hmm. Review for Bad Batch. Couple of episodes. Last couple of episodes. Four episodes, I believe. Of that. That's mm-hmm. gonna. That's up as well. X-Men. Also, X Men ninety seven. Episode four that is up as well. Man, this is a busy time of the year. <laughs> and I know most of y'all, a, a lot of us, a lot of you guys who have been with us from the beginning know that we started this just doing other stuff, but the thing that really kicked us off was House of the Dragon as your Western Bros. June 16th is coming. I just we, we just want to say that. Yes, both of us have seen both. We've seen we saw the teaser trailer, and we've seen the two full trailers. And we're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about this. We, you know, we we might do a recap. I think we could probably do a recap. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll 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 do a recap. You know what I'm saying? Just to get you everybody caught up. Get caught up. It's like recap. Get the juices flowing again. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Get the juices flowing. Get that. You know what I'm saying? Get that Dracaris fire burning up in you real quick. You know what I mean? But don't worry. The West of Bros will be back starting after June 16th, that first episode. But whatever. Yeah, that's all we got for this one. Till the next time.